In this lesson, we will see the basic characteristics of the W3C direct mapping recommendation. As discussed in the previous lesson, the direct mapping specification defines how to generate an RDF graph automatically from a relational database. That is, it takes as an input the database schema, as well as the data, and outputs an RDF graph, which is normally called the direct graph. This graph may then be stored in a triple store, so as to allow sparkle evaluations on top of it. In the gray box, we have an example of the SQL script that would generate a very simple relational database with two tables, addresses and people, which are connected through a foreign key, primary key relationship, that connects every person in the people table with an address in the addresses table. Furthermore, some data is included in the tables, one address and two persons, one of which is living in that address. The gray box now displays the results of the direct mapping-based transformation into RDF. First of all, we can see how the URIs for each of the resources identified by each row of the tables, people and addresses, are created. We can see the resource people ID equal to 7. Uh, this uh, resource is declared to be of RDF type people. And the same applies for people ID 8 and RDF type, uh, type people. Uh, the same applies also for addresses ID equal 18 and RDF type addresses. Then there are several RDF triples that cor correspond to the export of each of the column values, ID, name and address, where the values of the corresponding cells are provided as objects of the predicates. 7, Bob, 18 and the column name is exported as a property of the triple. Finally, the relationship between foreign key and primary key is described by people ref address and this is the triple that is being generated in this case. In summary, the main aspect to highlight in direct mappings is that they are generated automatically and using default terms for all the classes and properties, for column values and for foreign key and primary key relationships so that the RDF that is generated reflects very clearly the original relational schema. Most of the systems that implement direct mapping generate RDF dumps from the original databases. However, there are others that are also making the direct RDF graph available as a virtual graph. That is, the data is not transformed into RDF and then loaded into a triple store, but available in the original relational database so that the Sparkle queries are transformed into SQL queries that are then evaluated and transformed back into Sparkle query results.